For a long time, hamsters have never really been given the opportunity to burrow, something that comes naturally to hamsters because in the wild, they would live in deep burrows where they would sleep, store their food, use the bathroom, and raise their young in. Because stores and societies have really only ever said to line the enclosure with one to two inches of bedding, many hamster owners have never even gotten the chance to see their hamster actually burrow in their enclosure. The first thing I want to address is the difference between digging and burrowing, because many hamster owners may suggest that their hamster is capable of burrowing under an inch of bedding, but that simply is just not possible. A burrow consists of a tunnel leading beneath the bedding, and your hamster isn't gonna be able to do this in just an inch of bedding. What your hamster is actually doing instead is just digging and covering itself with whatever bedding it's got. One of the few studies they've actually done on hamsters includes one on burrowing. Now, this study was specifically done on Syrian hamsters, but these results would likely be fairly similar for other hamster species, given their similarities. 45 male Syrian hamsters were put into three groups with 80 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and 10 centimeters of wood shavings. Their behavior was assessed by continuous wheel running as well as video recordings. They also measured their body mass, adrenals, and hormone levels after euthanasia. The hamsters kept on 10 centimeters of bedding showed significantly more bark chewing and higher running activity than the other two groups. In the group with 80 centimeters of bedding, bar chewing was never observed, and all of the hamsters in 40 centimeters and 80 centimeters of bedding constructed burrows that they actually used. So their study shows that cages with at least 40 centimeters of bedding enhanced the welfare of Syrian hamsters. Now, while it would be awesome to be able to provide that much bedding, we're often limited by our enclosures because many don't provide that much height. Because of this, it's been agreed upon by fellow hamster owners that a hamster should have a minimum of eight inches of bedding, but 10 inches or more is definitely more preferred. My hamster won't burrow is something that I hear a lot, but there could be many factors to why your hamster isn't currently burrowing. Like we talked about earlier, a hamster should have a minimum of eight inches of bedding, but this doesn't mean that your hamster is automatically going to burrow in that. Oftentimes, a hamster will just feel that that's not enough to do anything, therefore they won't end up burrowing. I've personally had most success when I've given my hamster at least 10 inches of bedding, and that's when they usually will start to actually burrow. The type of bedding you use can affect whether or not your hamster will want to burrow. Some beddings will hold burrows much better than others. I've personally found that paper-based beddings typically hold tunnels really well and is what most of my hamsters will burrow in. Aspen is an example of a bedding that I've actually never really had a hamster want to burrow in. It just doesn't tend to hold burrows as well as my paper-based bedding does for my hamsters. Hemp is another bedding that is safe, but isn't really known for holding tunnels that well. So switching the type of bedding you use may be the fix to your hamster not burrowing. Or if you're currently not able to switch up the type of bedding you're using for your hamster, there are ways you can improve your current bedding's stability. The first thing is layering your bedding with soft hay such as orchard grass. When you're filling up your hamster's enclosure, you're essentially going to be creating a lasagna of bedding. You'll put your regular bedding, then you'll put a layer of orchard grass hay, layer of your bedding, and then a layer of orchard grass hay, and so on and so forth. And this can really help improve burrowing. You can also try mixing in a bit of paper-based bedding to try and create a more stable material for your hamster to burrow in. Don't forget to compact your bedding. When you're adding in your bedding, don't just leave it fluffed up. 10 inches of fluffed up bedding actually is not 10 inches of bedding because eventually the weight of your hamster walking back and forth on top of the bedding is going to slowly compact that down to something that is a lot less. Fluffed up bedding also does not hold burrows at all. So when you are putting your bedding in, you're gonna wanna make sure you are pressing down on it to ensure that it's gonna be nice and compacted and your hamster can make nice burrows. Your burrowing area just isn't large enough. A mistake that some, including myself, may make is giving your hamster too small of a section of deep bedding. When I've done this in the past, I've always been confused as to why my hamster isn't wanting to burrow. You know, I've given them this 
specific area for them to just burrow. But it's likely because in the wild, the ground depth really doesn't change that much and a hamster would not be limited to where they burrow. So the best solution is to give your hamster as much deep bedding throughout their enclosure as you possibly can. Obviously, there are gonna be some limitations in your enclosure, like for example, your wheel. If you can't adjust it that high, obviously that area is going to have to have less bedding so that the wheel is still able to spin, but the rest of the enclosure should still have deep bedding. Burrow starters. Some hamsters just need a little bit of help and certain dwarf species actually would inhabit pre-built burrows by other animals in the wild. So you can help them to do this by giving them burrow starters. This can be any sort of pre-made tunnel that is just pushed into the batting, such as a cork log or a burrow box. Or you can even go and buy specific cardboard tunnels that connect together that you can pre-build a burrow system to go underneath the bedding, which can help encourage your hamster to then continue burrowing from there. Having a multi-chamber hideout on top of deep bedding can also help them choose where to start their burrows. And the last thing is to just leave it. You may have tried all of the previous burrowing solutions and you may just have a stubborn hamster who just doesn't wanna burrow and that's okay. What you shouldn't do though, is go and remove all of that deep substrate because one, that's a waste of bedding. If you've already put it there, there's no harm in just leaving it sit there. And two, your hamster may take weeks or months to actually decide that, hey, I want to actually start burrowing. And if you had gone ahead and removed all of that deep bedding, your hamster is never gonna get a chance to choose if they wanna burrow or not. My hamster Dipper in particular really is not a burrower, but he still has 10 to 14 inches of bedding in his enclosure at all times if he decides that he wants to burrow. The last thing I'll often hear is, isn't using that much bedding expensive since you have to replace all of the bedding once a week? And my answer is no, because you don't have to replace all of the bedding once a week. In fact, doing so is wasteful and stressful to your hamster. I have an entire video all about how to clean your hamster's enclosure and disputing the myth that you have to clean it once a week, so you can check it out here. While you won't have to continuously purchase that much bedding for your hamster's enclosure, you are going to have to purchase that much for the original startup, which yes, is expensive. But no one said owning a pet was going to be cheap, and if you're not prepared to be able to pay that much for a basic requirement for a hamster, then I'd suggest looking into getting a different pet. So hopefully this video was able to help anyone who has yet to see their hamster burrow in their enclosure. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye!